what kind of defined uh, the, the label's output early on uh, at the start? What, what were you trying to uh, showcase? What kind of sounds? I don't think I was. Uh, I, I try to to especially focus on one sound. You know, like it's it's true that people uh, remember. You know, like the 2006, 2000. You know, era. You know, wh where it was uh, noisy and and kind of metal. You know, right. like we 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 everybody was saying like kind of a heavy metal disco or something like that. Of it 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 was like a very energetic. You know. Um, uh, of course, you know, uh, coming uh, from electronic music, but with a heavy metal background or um, some hip hop um, flavors into it. So I, I think it was just a, a mix of a lot of different things that, you know, made the sound. And people like to put you, you know, in a, in a special category, but, you know, like Mr. Wazo was not, m he's not making the same music as DJ Medi, Justice are not making the same music as, you know, like uh, Mead or, and, um, or Sebastian or Mr. Flash. They, 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 they were not doing the same music. So uh, I think um, people, again, focus, you know, on the noisy side. Uh, but um, I'm, 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 I'm pretty happy to, you know, like, of course, we are proud of the success of Justice, but I'm, I'm also proud of the... Uh, of the smaller acts or, or the, thi the things that people might n didn't see, you know, Mickey Moonlight or Feeds. Uh, you know, I was happy to release those records. You know, we, we released a bunch of, we, we were lucky to have a lot of different guests on the label, you know, Laurent Garnier, Square Pusher, Zongamin, uh, Fulgence, uh, which is a, a French producer I like. So I, 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 I don't want to be stuck in one sound and, um, and I let time tell you know and uh, it's been 16 years now and as you said it's 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 pretty um, tough you know to cross all the, you know the trends the time and uh, and witness all this but we are still here you know like with a smile uh, plenty we, we we have a lot of projects coming on and we are still to be uh, to to end because as you can see, if I have the mic, I can go for hours. Thank you. So to end, to, easy, to, to end with this, you know, it's, it's, uh, I I'm exactly uh, as I was in 2003, you know, like I'm still excited by working on mid uh, forthcoming album, soon announcing some fresh news with Sebastian. I'm, uh, I'm not bored yet. So, so that's, that's the most important. It's a very selfish thing, but this is how it goes, and this is how you know I like to run my label. Yeah, I think the label is definitely um, has a family uh, feel to it from an outside perspective. Seems like everybody's pretty close, and now you're bringing mid into the fold. So, what was it like for you? Um, I mean, for a lot of us my age, uh, uh, Ed Banger is very influential for me, and you know, like coming up and exposing me to more electronic music. Was it like that for you, mid? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, the um the way I saw Ed Banger maybe also forged the way I uh, made music and I oh started really, yeah. music because uh, I started uh, music and DJing, uh, buying uh, Justice Remix of Simian. Right. Uh, yeah. it, it, it was uh, my life as a French kid uh, listening to electronic music. And, uh, and the way I remember this, this video of uh, the Ed Banger party at La Boule Noire and it, it was iconic for us. I, I'm, I'm not from Paris. I'm from north, north of France. Okay, yeah. Uh, and uh, we wanted to to do the same thing, you know. So it was like uh, doing parties uh, and uh, making music with your friends and uh, be, being excited about this positivity and the way they 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 do like they cross the genre. Oh yeah. And yeah, that yeah. and for example, for me, the real start of music was uh, with my band, the Club Cheval. And uh, we met each other around this way of making music and how uh, having a family and friends could can be uh, can be something like uh, uplifting and uh, and bringing you like to make more stuff and more interesting, crossing the genre uh, and not not being afraid of uh, of creating new stuff. Right, right, And right. you were talking about uh, about styles, for example, and. One big thing about Ed Banger is like uh, we ne I never, never, never talked uh, with Pedro about styles. You know, I never heard him like t telling me, "Oh, it's too much techno," or "It's uh, not enough." I house. told him you should dress in black. 
<laughs> Obviously. <laughs> He's a good listener, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that and and this thing of not having style, more looking into like your, it could be a bit cheesy, but looking into your artistic uh, core, and what do you want to do? Ah, oh, you want to mix uh, guitars and that? Okay, cool. So for me, yeah, the, of course, the as a young, uh, when I was young and um, I wanted to be a, a music producer, or musician, or just a music enjoyer. Of course, it has a big influence on the start of my career. Yeah. And now, uh, you know, you're definitely building the family still. Um, what are you looking for from bringing new artists into the Ed Banger family? Um, <coughs> I'm trying to complete the puzzle. And I, and I needed a white piece in my puzzle. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I'm, it's, no, it's, not, it's not me looking. Uh, I'm, it's... It, you know, like I like, um, uh, I like when I don't know the word, the, the, the word in English, but say it in French. Yeah. L'alignement des lunes. Demerde-toi avec ça. Yeah. What did he say? Demerde-toi. Is he making fun of me? And he's making fun of me. So no, no, no. I'm not making fun, Harrison. I'm just saying, have fun with the alignement des lunes, which is when the moon are synchronized. Okay. You know, stars are aligned. Stars align, merci, Harrison. Ah. In French, we say moon. I speak a little French now, uh, you know, or I can interpret, I guess. So, uh, and, uh, and me, the, um, uh, wa was, uh, you know, he came up with, with that song, um, uh, The Sun. Uh, and uh, he, he, he was working on, on, a, on a solo EP at the time, you know, like after his uh, Club Cheval Adventure. And uh, he felt it, he, he, it sounded perfectly with, with, with uh, Ed Banger. So he, he came by. And, uh, and definitely, I, I, I loved it. We knew each other uh, for, for a little bit. And, um, and I like also the fact that he was uh, close to the Justice Boys or to Somi or to Breakboat. Right. And yes, it's important for me to, to not especially, you know, like every, every, every time people are coming back with the, the family thing, but we are not pretending to be a family. It's, it's just happening because we spend a lot of time in studio, on tour, um, and uh, I prefer, you know, uh, to travel with uh, someone we can get along with, you know. Right, uh, right. Uh, you know, it takes me to the red light district. Uh, oh, beautiful. I spend a lot of time there yeah, myself, yeah. Me, I'm taking him to museums, to, you know. <laughs> And uh, but we, we we spend a lot of time together, so that's that's important. And um, so and and after that, you know, it's just uh, an exchange. You know, he's bringing his uh, freshness, his craziness, and he, and his art. And me, I'm trying to provide him, you know, like the, the the best as as a label, as a producer, also as a big brother. I'm older than most of my artists, so I can, you know, share with them. What good, I've good stories about French touch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good stories, true. <laughs> and uh, but I um, yeah, and, and experiments and um, and it's a it's a good it's a it's a good match, you know. Um, and uh, uh, but uh, it it takes time, you know. Like a lot, you know. Like I I, I know when we were talking about you know earlier on uh, talking about this uh, topic, you know. Are we a label looking especially for new acts or, you know, to sign a lot of kids? I'm, no, I'm not, you know, like uh, we receive uh, music every day, but we can't sign, you know, we, we are a very small team and uh, w working on, on artists to develop them, it, 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 takes, it takes a lot of time. That's something you've done f uh, throughout your career, even before you were DJing, I guess, right, too. You know, with Daft Punk, you were really fostering talent and pushing talent in a new direction. Now, with Mid, um, uh, go moving beyond Claude Cheval, um, how is your sound changing as a solo artist, and, and what, are you trying to, what are you trying to express uh, through your solo work? Uh, from Claude Cheval to Mid, uh, yeah. Uh, I always had a solo career, actually which people sometimes forget about it. It was more uh, on the front of the scene because of uh, it. I really wanted to work on that. But this sound came little by little. Like when you listen to my solo EPs before that, you already hear like uh, more and more small guitars, more and more like acoustic things. 
uh, more and more of uh, me singing a little bit, like uh, it, it was samples before, like hidden samples, and little by little it came into, the, for example, the sun where I'm, I'm singing. And um, so yeah, it was like uh, about the, the Club Cheval thing, it was just like we spent like uh, six years together on a big album, which was really ambitious for our capacity of producing. We didn't know, we started and we wanted to do a big R&B album, and we were four French teens. From Lille. From Lille, <laughs> which, is, which is a thing. If you know Lille, it's like a small... I don't. It's a I've small town. I've never been before. Yeah, yeah, it's like a... And, uh, and so we spent a lot of time, and we, at the time, we didn't have the... Um, we didn't have the, the professionalism to say, oh, we can only go in studio for two hours per day, and it's enough. It was more like, oh, we have to spend... 10 hours per day, every day, Finish this song to now. work yeah. and to to be like a, together. So we spent actually we spent like uh, six years together, 24/7. So after the album, the album after the tour, we were like, okay, man, now we need <laughs> we need a little bit. It's, it's just like when you spend like a weekend with your girlfriend, uh, even if you love Pause. her, <laughs> you will fight at some point. No. Yeah, she's watching. <laughs> bisou, bisou. <laughs> she she knows it. She knows it. So it's it's the same. This is why no. she's having uh, three weeks off in Los Angeles. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> and uh, and so that's why for now that's why Club Cheval is not over at all. It's just like we need time to just uh, breathe a little bit. For me, it's amazing because uh, I get this adventure, but the other guys too are doing their stuff and it's cool. And now I think just uh, your, your sound definitely complements the Ed Banger sound. And I think what's really interesting about Ed Banger music and everything you do is uh, you're, you're bringing in new fans to electronic music, maybe from the art world, the fashion world, different genre realms now. Um, can you describe to me what that has been like for you um, pushing that, uh, pushing electronic music and merging it with these other cultures? Um, well, that's, you, you, t you, you touch a point that, uh, with, which makes me proud. A lot of people are coming, you know, saying like, oh, you were the key for me to enter, you know, like uh, going from a hip hop or a rock background, going into um, electronic music. And after, you know, people are opening the door, discovering Ed Banger, and then going a bit deeper and discovering uh, house, techno, whatever. and. Um, so that, that 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 makes me proud, of course, and um, so it it allows us to, you know, meet and and work with uh, a, a lot of different people, and um, but uh, uh, like w talking about like, you know like uh, art or fashion or whatever, it's yeah. I don't know like uh, it it's just like a, a normal process, you know, um, uh, for us, you know, like uh, most. And and it's uh, this is why also mid fits perfectly with the the DNA of the uh, of the label. Um, uh, I, I call you know for example Justice before making music they were art directors you know they were graphic designers. So most of the artists of Ed Banger they have ears but they have good eyes too and um, and this is where I think you know we have this common uh, thing together. We of course w we we are a music label but. You know, we, uh, I like to say sometimes, you know, we are making uh, music for your eyes. And, um, and, and I th this is why, you know, we, 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 we cross, you know, uh, Justice uh, did some, uh, some track for uh, Dior Homme or uh, Sebastian for the past four years. He, he has been the music for Saint Laurent or um, stuff like that. Or Mid is dressing up, you know, like as he's dressed up. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you don't like his style. I don't understand. I don't I, I'm joking. I'm joking. We, we are on camera, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm being naughty, but I love him, you know. <laughs> but uh, so, and in terms of uh, video or, or, or graphism, uh, working close, closely with Somi, who, who, who was the art director of the label for, for the first 10 years, he's still, he's still around, you know, he's still, he's still part of the, uh, of the label, even though, you know, we are working with Alice Moitier on, on, on the mid project, we are working with um, uh, Jean-Baptiste Mondino, with Sebastian, we are working with a bunch of different artists, photographers or, 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 or graphic designers. That's that's important for us, and and 
and I'm sure you know, like in the in the crowd here, people are paying attention, of course, to the sound, but they are paying attention also to the to the visual, to the DNA, to the you know to the environment of of a project. I think um, it's important. Um, well, it's like it's important. It's the way we we like to do things. You know, like uh, I'm, I'm I'm coming from a more uh, you know uh, uh, subculture background, coming from the skateboard uh, um, uh, culture, and 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 I've always mixed things. You know, um, and I think it's more you know uh, uh, rich for for the people to you know enjoy uh, uh, and embrace a project, and um, and this is why sometimes. Uh, you know the the label sound is a bit different than a normal music label, but looks or sounds more like a, a skateboard brand or uh, something like that. You know, I I, I feel comfortable in the, in that. I think, th and I think that it goes it's, it goes outside. I mean, the, in the music videos are such an important part of Ed Banger, especially after all 15 years. Oh my God. Um, and wait, wait to see the next one. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, well, is Mid gonna get a music video? Is he one of the lucky ones? I yeah. am in the next one. Yeah, you're, are you, you are, right? No, no. <laughs> I can't say. I can't say yet. As long as you're not wearing white, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, na he's naked in his videos, so... Oh, even better, yeah. He's, but naked, I mean he's naked on a boat. <laughs> That'll get a million That's views true, in a day. Yeah. Or maybe it won't. But... <laughs> But uh, for 15 years, can you try to describe to me uh, what's the key to the longevity of, of the label? Well, uh, man, I don't have a key. I don't have any keys, you know. Like it just uh, it's and and it it can sound boring, you know. But uh, I like what I'm, you know. I'm 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 deeply and truly, you know, enjoying every day at the office, every day uh, speaking with with the artists. I'm. I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a lucky bastard, you know, like I'm waking up in the morning, uh, going to the office or going to a studio, uh, working close to artists that I, I respect and I, uh, I'm, I'm working for them, you know, like I'm, my, my success is coming from, you know, their, their success and their talent, so. What, what, what were some of the challenges? Oh, challenges every day, of ch challenges every day, being relevant, you know, like, I can see here in the crowd, you know, m most of some of them didn't, you know, um, witness, you know, like the birth of, you know, the the the, the scene in 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 the in the mid 90s, you know, like the the uh, some of them, you know, like um, are discovering, you know, electronic music, um, um, you know, uh, ten years after we 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 started. So the 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 challenge is to uh, excite them. It's uh, to also uh, try to create a new uh, audience because the the one who are following us, you know, for 15 years now, they 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 they, 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 they grown up. So now their their little uh, sister or, or brother are, are, are discovering us. And so the challenge is, is to to be relevant, not trying to follow the follow the flow. You know, like uh, for the past, you know, five years, it's been uh, all about techno. We're not going to be a, a techno label suddenly. Uh, so we 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 release records. You know, we release uh, Daniel Avery remixes. We've re we've we've done a ton, lot of things. We've released Isolé remixes on Ed Bangers, but some people sometimes don't dig that much. And um, and um, so the, the the challenge is every day is uh, you know like to uh, first have fun in what we are doing. You know. Uh, trying to, you know, uh, uh, live with it uh, and and, uh, and continue, you know, to, to 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 write the story. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a long journey. It's not finished yet, you know. And uh, and I'm, uh, we, I think we're still having fun. You know, we still have fun to and 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 this is what I tried for years, trying to, you know, like uh, uh, give a good. Um, a good feedback, you know, like for people to see what we are doing, what we are building for all the, all this time. It's uh, that that we are having fun, and it's 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 music, you know. It's, uh, it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> and, uh, it's definitely this is what we are trying to do, you know. Right now, Mid, how how has being part of the Ed Banger family um, helped your career? Oh. Uh, 
it's a, it's amazing like uh, it's a, it's a, that's a lot because uh, not only sometimes people think like uh, because you are on Edbanger it's like uh, the door open to the worldwide uh, club uh, and and everyone and uh, magazine and uh, press but it's not that like uh, as as he said I always say that that my first year in Edbanger was like also like the alignment des planètes I say planet but uh, I don't say but it's the same thing like uh, it was a good time i think for this music and uh, it was a good time uh, with pedro and everyone also uh, they weren't that surprised that i was I, I, it was the end of bromance my ex label la label yeah, 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 where yeah, yeah, i was yeah, yeah. Uh, with brody and uh, now it was kind of the perfect fit at the perfect moment uh, so but of course like Ed Banger, it's kind of a uh, I don't know how to say carte de visite, but like a business card. Right, right, right. Yeah. And uh, if you have the headbanger thing, of course you come with something. You know, it's like a, it's a kind of a title near your name, like a, the. The cosign. It's a nice yeah. cosign. Your lord, uh, lord mid. Yeah, uh, yeah, of yeah. Headbanger. I don't know what that means. No, like there is some. There is something like that. So yeah, it helps, but uh, it also helped me to to just develop because. Uh, I, for me now, I have the perfect setup to do the music I want and to work my solo career. I have uh, Pedro on one side, which is uh, which is like uh, helping me and supporting, and he's really. You don't have to forget, like you were talking about the longevity of the label. For me, it's 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 long because it's Pedro's label at first. It's not there is no one else, right, and right. and uh, it's as you have a good friend. During the years, you like him. Sometimes he will do things you will not like. He will have a weird girlfriend, or he will have. I, wrote, uh, yeah. I talk a lot about girlfriends, <laughs> but uh, he, he can, 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 he can do weird. Uh, your friend can have weird choice, but you will still love him. And it's the same for the label, and it's the same for Pedro's label. Like uh, during the time, uh, you is it, people still love Ed Banger, so I'm just joining some things that people already love, and I'm bringing my fans with me too. So yeah, for me, it's, that's amazing. Like uh, it's a for me, it's a perfect setup and the per perfect family for now. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, now, Pedro. I mean, after 15 years, you've done so much. 16, I reason. <laughs> Fuck, really? Okay, 16. But what's 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 next for Ed Banger? I mean, you've done so much. You throw amazing parties. You've done all the music videos. You're still growing the label. Um, what's next for you? Where do you want to take it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, I'm preparing the 20 years party. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you, do you not just so you not think about the future so much? You just try to stay in the in the moment, or? Yeah, yeah definitely not. I'm not. I'm not thinking too much about the future. But um, uh, no, I'm. I'm I, I have. I have schedule or ideas of the the year coming, you know, of course, but... Um, Is there anything ambitious you really want to do with, with Ed Banger? Ed Banger Festival? No. Oh, come on, why not? No. That'd be sick. No, 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 it's... Uh, it's uh, no, um, no, no, we, we, you know, we, we are doing, you know, some publishing stuff, we are publishing books, we are... Oh, yeah, beautiful. You know, this is, this is what I like. I, um, uh, and it's important also that we, it, it, it stays in our hands, you know, and... Um, so I don't want to break any legs in like uh, don't be ambitious or whatever. But it just uh, I like the DIY thing, you know. I like to. Uh, it's not about being a control freak. It's it's about you know like personal achievement. When I'm saying per personal, as a team, you as know, you guys, the crew, as, yeah. a, as a small as a small crew, and um, um, you know, uh, uh, I'm not Mark Parker trying to you know. Uh, you know, yeah. like uh, getting uh, uh, the the world uh, uh, domination, or but uh, it's just um, no. It's uh, uh, I don't know. We 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 will see. You know, we we have uh, uh, some nice records coming coming out soon. Um, at some point, of course, the the question will arrive. You know, like oh, okay, you you've done tours, you've done videos, you've done records and stuff. So what's next but it's it's not that time yet so well, I, I know we're all excited for the future of ed banger and can you know here's to another 15 or 16 
Um, but right, enough of me, you guys. Anybody here have a question for Pedro or Mid? Uh, it's a question for Pedro. Can you tell us more about um, how and why you started at Bunger? Was it because um, you wake up one day and say and realize that France was missing electronic label, or was it because you're a musician yourself and maybe you knew a musician? Can you tell us more about why and how um, you started? You, uh, I, have, I, have to, I have told the story. Uh, it's completely by accident. I didn't, I, I didn't know I will uh, start a label. It was in 2003. At the time, I was working for Daft Punk, so I was pretty busy and pretty happy. And uh, and uh, and a, a guy came by the office. Um, his name is Mr. Flash, and he came up with a uh, with a song, uh, with more than um, some songs. And and he wanted he was looking for a manager. And at that time, I was looking after Daft Punk, and I was also managing DJ Medi. And uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and 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 the way I was working with Thomas and Giman or Medi was really really specif uh, specific and and unique in a way and uh, so i told him i'm not a, i'm not a real manager you know like i'm working with those guys for 10 years but um you know i i, I I'm j'improvise <laughs> I, w I, wa I was improvising my job and i was learning at the same time so so i told him i don't want to be your manager but i i loved i loved the music he played so i said out of nowhere and I don't regret it now but I said okay you know what I'm not going to be your manager but I'm going to release your record <coughs> Mehdi came up with the name Headbanger Records at the time I had like a management company called Headbangers which is like a, the Headbangers and he, he, ca he came up with a, a slightly change with the name like creating a character Edward Banger <laughs> and uh, so that's, the, that's the, 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 the story of the name so shout out to Mehdi for that and uh, and and then the, and then it started like that and the the stars alliance stars aligned yes yes, yes. Uh, that's the I, classic I, I bumped into term. Xavier and Gaspar of Justice like a couple of months later and 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 they played me we are your friends uh, never be alone so so then uh, I had no no way back you know, I had to do the label and uh, and now we are 16 years later drinking beers in this. Uh, Basement. Shouts to Bud. Next to a guy dressed all in white. <laughs> with a weirdo glasses. I, if you want cool story, like Pedro was in the shop with me when I bought this outfit. <laughs> Fuck yes. And I was wearing underwear and he told me, yeah, buy it. <laughs> and now I'm in front of like a... I don't know how many people, and you are making fun of me. <laughs> so that's really cruel. I'm, I'm the bully, the kid of Ed Banger. For you to know the truth, like we are telling all the family stuff, we are friends and stuff, but that's oh. horrible. Yeah. I'm stuck. Help me. <coughs> yeah, you bought it last week in London. I remember now. And he wanted to buy, you know, because the guy who is doing this outfit is doing outfit uh, only um, a full color. And you tried the green, the green one. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like that more or less? The green uh, <laughs> next time. <laughs> so sorry for for the, an <laughs> the no, <but laughs> thank you. for the answer. You uh, more questions? Hello. Um, just first of all, it was amazing that video, and it made me very excited to listen to you guys. Uh, this question is for you. So you mentioned you were working with three more people, 24-7 during six years, and then you went solo. So I was wondering, how was that transition? How did you feel about it? Um, was it difficult? Was it No, no, it, fe it felt uh, amazing, <laughs> actually. I, I love them. I really love them, and I'm still, I'm still working with them on other projects. But, uh, you know, it's like a, I, al I always feel it like a big, big boat because we had like a, we were signed on a major company. And so you, it's, a, it's that's a lot. And that's really heavy when you want to take a decision. It's a lot when you want to even when you want to make music. That's a lot because you have to convince three other people or to get them with you. And now I'm more like on the smaller jet ski, uh, you know, uh, like Zooming our around, on, on, yeah. the, on the yacht, you know, there is like jet ski. So it's much more easier. There is something 
at the beginning, when I when I did the EP, there were six months when I was just in between the the the, the end of the tour with my band and the start of my career, my solo career with Ed Banger. There were those six, six months where I did the EP, and so it I, it was like totally freestyle. I was like doing an EP with a guitarist from my hometown that, that I bring in Paris. He was sleeping on my couch, and we did like music for six months. So it was like a bit crazy, and then I went to Pedro to make him hear the, the EP, and he was like, ah, okay. <laughs> so it was like, whoa, okay, okay. It's like when you jump, jump, and you just manage to, whoa, last moment, so it was perfect, and I'm really happy of this, ch this choice, like, uh, and it's, it's, it's easy to say that now, because, uh, but the extreme choice, most of the time, when you feel it, your intuition, intu intuitions and stuff. It's uh, as a musician and an, an artist, it's always cheesy too to say that, but uh, you have to 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 do it. In love to in do lo it. In love to art. No, in love too. You have to dare. You know, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> We have time for one more question. Two more, come on, Harrison, don't be... We, we want to see you play music too, man. You, enough of you talking. Well, what time is it? We have time. Or you, you know, you, you've know, you been telling bad jokes the whole well, time. Uh, hi. <laughs> um, I remember you, uh, Laurent Garnier, uh, signed with you in 2012. Don't do like that because... It's uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> right. uh, Le, Laurent Garnier uh, signed uh, with you uh, in 2012, I think. And do you like uh, work with uh, with him? And uh, maybe uh, you think you work together another time? Good, good question. Yeah, we released uh, a Laurent Garnier record um, on, on Ed Banger. Yeah, 2011 or 12 exactly. Um, it was a like a, a big dream for us. I, I, I guess most of you know uh, who is Laurent Garnier, and um, so I, I know Laurent for 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 quite a while. He's older than me. But uh, not by much. Not that much. No, but he's older still. <laughs> and uh, and he represents a lot. You know, like I'm I'm uh, I'm 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 in love with our uh, electronic culture, and and he means a lot. He op he opened my ears. I I watch him so many times, and uh, I feel b I feel pretty blessed. You know, to sometimes DJ with him, or when that that day I proposed him. You know, he wa he, he played a track. I think it was on a radio show or something, and I, and I called him and I said, "What was the track?" And he said, "It's it's one for you," and uh, and uh, and 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 it's uh, so we, we, we you will probably see us on some uh, uh, forthcoming uh, project. Uh, we you know again we are older now than those those kids, so we kind of re represent things. So. When we 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 tag team together, it's it's a good thing also to mix genres and 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 and, and things. So, but uh, yeah, why, why we will probably release some records or maybe some other stuff. I can't I can't really say yet. But uh, we definitely we, we you know I'm I'm watching what he's doing. He's he's listening to what we are doing and um, and he's def he's he's a true passionate DJ. You know, he's listening to really like hundreds of records every day. Sending feedbacks to every everyone. He's sending feedbacks to all the records we're releasing. So it's amazing to have him as a friend or as a supporter uh, uh, around. It means it means a lot. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Busy P and Mid and the Ed Banger family. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Budex Paris. Now we have a stacked night of sets. Louise Shen, Kitty Smile, B Mid B2B, Busy P, Maceo Plex, Mad Ben. So go drink some buds and have fun. <laughs>